I love printing. I love printing. I love it. I f***ing love printing. We have a special guest. It's Kurt Ellinger from Tactive. So Kurt, I'll turn it over to you for uh, a little history on who you guys are and then what you did. Uh, yeah, we have recently just undergone a full complete rebranding to our new name, which is Tactive. We were formerly Print Resources, more of a utilitarian name that um, myself and my business partner, Tim Browning, we started the company in 2000, uh, strictly as a broker, as a printing broker. We had come from a um, offset printing background, sort of, you know, larger web commercial. And, and we weren't foresightful in this, but the business started changing, right? You know, digital started becoming um, prevalent, jobs started to become smaller, um, on demand, personalization, all of that started happening sort of in earnest in the early 2000s. So we were positioned well to take advantage of that and that we didn't have equipment. We did get into digital printing ourselves, things like that. We wanted to sort of be the single stop uh, marketing solution uh, rather than just a printer. What we do is create the things that uh, you touch, hold, feel as part of your mar company's marketing plan. So that's where the tactile, tactile comes from and then active. We sort of thought it, you know, tied that together well. So but aside from the branding, uh, from my understanding is you had a big MIS change right. uh, in the company. So maybe take a couple of minutes, tell me about that, because I know that, um, and I believe it was you were with Avanti. Uh, mm -hmm. we, I happened to be with Avanti at the time since 92. We had Classic, then we went into Slingshot. And um, I could just tell you quickly with any MIS system, from my experience, systems were usually okay, but getting the team on board to implement and make it happen, uh, roll out quickly was always the biggest issue. Um, so uh, what, yeah, so the MIS, you chose Avanti, why? And how was mm -hmm. the implementation? So we were looking for something versatile as well because we weren't just a printer. Um, we did digital printing, so it had to do digital, it had to do large format, it had to be able to uh, integrate with our uh, e-commerce sites, things like that. Um, and Avanti Slingshot really proved well proved to be the right decision for us. So uh, we're able to do all those things um, and more. Um, there's only, we probably only use 30% of the system only because we're, we're still learning. We've been, uh, we've been live for about two, two and a half years now and we're constantly adding um, things. We just added the full accounting uh, package which is uh, through Great, Great Plains software. The thing I love about it, 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 it really is, it's sort of an open system. I mean, it. It'll work the plug and play way you want it to, but you really can have it do almost anything you want. Are you um, are you using Avanti CRM module? So we use CRM, but not maybe in its full capacity either. We we have Salesforce, uh, which mm -hmm. happens to be our biggest customer. So so it uh, happened, you know. So there's some things there that we use it for more of the traditional CRM stuff. However, the CRM module, you know, is great for customer history and uh, you know looking up both jobs and looking up fine. Basically, you can you get everything you need, all the information you need on a customer, including their projects and invoices and all that all in one place, which makes it very convenient. Um, as long as the information being input is, is right. correct, right? right? You can't exactly. stress that enough. So, so, yep. so, so over the past, uh, or COVID, so you've got, between doing a branding and upgrading MIS, um, how you manage to do other work and get things done. Because right. on a good day, you have to be pretty flexible with the MIS and you have to have you know, the space and the time. And then right. I guess going during COVID, and I don't know if you had to lay anybody off and I'm sure some of your customers were, just how was that whole yeah. thing? Um, definitely more of a challenge on the production side. You know, people that physically have to be here to, to cut the paper and fold it and print it and all that. So we, we went through probably what most people do, either split shifts or, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday kind of thing. So we, we made that work. Obviously some of the, our work uh, wasn't, wasn't as much. So, you know, we didn't have as many jobs to run through the plant. So that, but now we didn't uh, lay anybody off. We did get the PPP loan. Um, oh, so good. we didn't, uh, yeah, so we didn't actually lay anybody off. Um, on the sort of the front office side, um, we did work from home and we still are working from home. Some, again, we sort of do a split shift here for that. Um, 
it's full, you know, fully VPN capable, so we can work from home just as well on, on Avanti just as well as we can here. We're fortunate. We do a lot of work in the tech industry, the, the tech field, actually the tech marketing field, and a lot of their revenue is is subscription based. So typically, they're not gonna a customer isn't gonna stop using Salesforce or stop using whatever the subscription based services. So their revenue has has stayed the same, and that's helped us. Um, in fact, we've even had some funds parked, you know, for, for future projects with us. Oh, uh, good. Because it, it, they need to, you know, keep the marketing budget <laughs> what it is. So we, we've been very... Gotta love, very, gotta um, love that with big companies. I don't understand it, yeah, but exactly. they all want to use up their money because they won't give it to you if you don't use it. But that's another conversation. Right. Now, yeah, I'll be completely frank. I mean, our event-based business is completely, you know, went the... Crap Shocking. Um, I think you're the yes, only one. Exactly. And... Uh, you know, some of the retail stuff we do. So, uh, but again, we've been lucky. Um, we, we've done some virtual events uh, with with printed um, materials. So instead of having, uh, like uh, Rolls-Holman University, they did their graduation here uh, by sending out the diplomas in a printed box, you know, with a, a letter from the Dean. And uh, so the, uh, the, the tassel, the diploma, everything went into a nice printed box and we mailed those out. You know, so there's oh, cool. some things that, that came of it as well. Um, certainly not enough to make up for everything that. Uh, well, I, I think I think it's good that you didn't have to lay any people off. I think it's great that you uh, managed to uh, bring in an MIS system right. at that time. Um, so it, it just it sounds like and changed the name of the company at that time. Right. So for 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 a very odd time, you've been you know yeah pretty busy with big items not little items big items so kudos to you guys so when, when all said and done with the mis system were you happy and would you recommend avanti to yeah. others and I, I ask that because i always hear different things about different softwares and mis's and everyone's different opinions but i always like to ask people would you recommend because it's it's us you me whoever that are using things that really will help right. promote the stuff that's really user friendly yeah um so the simple answer is yes i would um we're you know a couple years into this now so i, I don't it would be hard for me to say compare it to another system as opposed to just talk about its virtues that we've uh, experienced and i the thing that i will say about avanti and and i don't you know, I've worked with other companies and software companies in the past. And you're not getting paid to say this, right? I just want exactly. to clarify. Okay, because I'm yeah. not getting paid either. So. <laughs> they are comp they are by far the most responsive software company I've ever dealt with. You can, you know, your typical, you know, you go to the support site, right? On the end, you know, support at blah, 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 dot com, and you fill out a form, and then you get a form email back, and then two weeks later, you might hear something. That's completely opposite with Avanti. I mean, you they immediately start working on whatever it issue is. When they, they do constant updates, so every month they come out with a full a full update. In fact, on your on the update it'll even show what the items you requested are being addressed in that uh, in that update. So they're very responsive and um, not to say that the system was perfect when we started, but it's it gets better every month and that's what I really, really appreciate about right. it. Uh, they they address any issues um, almost immediately. Some of them are bigger than others, and they take they might take you know several um, several months or several re revisions to to come to fruition. But you'll know exactly. Uh, if you get an email that says, "Here's you know it's time to do." Oh yeah, well I'll, I'll tell you. I I, I, I have sorry. I happened to be with Avanti when I was in print since '92, mm -hmm. and it was classic up until um, whatever 2014 or. 15 mm -hmm. we made the jump um and um in the beginning they weren't so good i will tell you as a matter of fact in the beginning they sucked the bag i wanted <laughs> to strangle every other person in the company but uh, in the last couple of years there's been some changes that have gone on there that i've noticed that um i really think they pick things up and uh, what you mentioned about the um the support and you know product knowledge and everything uh, they got a couple key people there now so uh, right. i think that's good to hear because um, they are not one. They are not one of the bigger estimating companies, right? right? Uh, and I think what we all need to do is really get in and do our uh, research. Because once you go spend fifty, eighty, a hundred, two hundred grand with these companies, right. it's like an SAP system. You're in and you can't get out. 
exactly. Yeah, they you know? <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I give them kudos, and I'm happy to hear that uh, you guys had a really good experience. Yeah, the one thing I'll add too is that when we did do the uh, integration into Great Plains, which is you know completely different software, you buy it from someone else, but the integration as far as working with both companies on the uh, on that process. Avanti is key to it. I mean, they're they're just as involved, sort of, with the pushing to GP as GP is and is accepting the information. So right, they and and the uh, I'll call him out, William uh, over at Avanti is he's top notch. He really knows what he's doing. He knows uh, GP is you know great, and uh, he was able to you know make the process so much smoother. At the end of the day, we live in a tough world uh, mm -hmm. with a lot of equipment, a lot of technology. Uh, a lot of people. Um, what I have found over the years is it really comes down to the people and the relationships you're working with. Um, when you're working with really good people, they figure out how to calm you down. And if you're calm, they're calmer. If they're calmer, implementation becomes quicker. Uh, just because yep. we're, we're holding the bag with all the money, we want everything to happen quickly. quickly. And mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we jump the gun ourselves. Right. Um, but definitely very nice to hear that uh, in this case, you guys are doing okay with it. Um, I'd like to uh, reserve the right to do another little interview with you again in six or 12 months okay. and follow up and see how it's going because things always change along the way. Uh, and I think that would be uh, really good for the listeners and for Avanti customers and potential customers. I think we really have to promote the good companies in our industry that are standouts. Because uh, there's there's a few, but not enough. And uh, as our business gets tougher, we need to know that the people we're going to call on are going to be there to protect us. Yes. Right. So that's cool. Definitely. Great. It's definitely Eddie, a different world. Different, different, different world than it was. Different even world. Ten, Agreed. <laughs> ten years ago. For uh, sure. Any uh, any final thoughts before uh, I disconnect you? I want everybody to you know keep at it. It's, I know this is a tough time, but um, you know think of new things to to be, new things to sell. You know, it's tough, tough out there, but you got to stay at it. All right, so, Kurt, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Uh, and, and best of luck with Tactive and the name change and the MIS. And uh, keep up the good work. Love to hear it. Thank you.